Hey everybody, this is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. So today we're going to shoot two videos and they're all about spraying Simtex Sealer. And we're going to do some, uh, people have asked a couple questions about whether or not you can do what we're going to do today. Spoiler alert, you can. So we're going to show you how to do it. The first video we're going to do is, can you use this cheap ass Harbor Freight HVLP gun to spray Simtex Sealer? So this is, uh, these are like $16 at Harbor Freight, and um, they are kind of a, you know, junky spray gun. The best part about a junky spray gun, though, is that when it gets all clogged up with crap, you don't care. You just throw it away and you go spend another $16 instead of spending $20 in solvent to clean it out. So we've got this one set up. It's got a regulator. It's got a gauge. It's got a Quico Connecto. Um, people seem to like when I make up words that are obviously are not what the thing is. So anyway, it's got a quick connector. Um, this has a one, hold on, let me get my danger glasses here. This has a 1.4 size nozzle on it. Now that's kind of little, but um, it's going to be fine for what we're doing because, you know, we're, again, we're not painting a car with this, we're spraying plastic on the guitar bodies with this to seal up the wood. So, um, because the Simtex sealer is so much fun, to clean, we're going to use some of these disposable cups. And these are totally worth it for Simtech as well. Mm, that's what we're using. Disposable cups there and the disposable lids. And sometimes you can get more than one application with these guys, but it's best to just, you know, use them and pitch them and uh, and be done. Oh yeah, only the finest. All right, let's mix up some sealer and uh, let's get this gun set up. All right, everybody, remember we are using Simtech uh, Easy Sanding Sealer. This is part number 2850 and this is a brand new gallon. Um, we're gonna show you how it's done. I should probably get some safety gloves. Yeah. Because it's going to make a big mess everywhere. Ah, brand new sealer. Alright, so I'm going to get the sealer out of the gallon container with this other cup and hopefully not make too big of a mess. It's not bad. What a mess. Okay. Um, this one's going to go into this one. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is the big size hardener, so we're going to put about a half a cup, or half a cap, half a cup, half a cap into there. I've talked to the guys at Simtech and they're like, it is possible to put too much in. And we mix. It's just that easy, guys. All right. I like to work with the gun and make sure everything's going with the gun before I put a bunch of solvent or sealer into the cup. So let's get that set up next. All right, I got my gun, I got my air hose, and I got a leak. We got a leak on our regulator, dude. Well, let's put another regulator on it then. All right, remember how I said I don't like to keep anything in the cup until I get the gun, make sure the gun's going? Well, it was a good thing I didn't because we ended up having to pull the regulator and um, put a new regulator on because there was a leak. So, we are at about 40 pounds. Let's see. Dial it back to about 35. Okay, so we're at 35 pounds when I pull the trigger. So, Chris informs me that this screw here is a way to regulate air going to the, uh, the gun and you probably want to leave it mostly out because if you put it all the way in, then you get nothing. But you can't really tell 
what's going to the gun. So let's actually open it all the way up. Oh shit. And then regulate. All right, there we are. So this uh, little doodad here is fluid control. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this guy way up because we're shooting some viscous stuff. So we want it up pretty high. And this is spray pattern and we probably don't want it to be all the way up, but we don't want it to be all the way down either. We're not shooting this like a fire hose. So we'll, we'll just kind of get this right in the center and we'll test it and see what it's like. And let's go to town. Okay, I got my safety gear on and I'm gonna mask up. Now remember, SimTech gets everywhere and it's sticky as all get out. So you don't wanna dilly dally. You just wanna get in and get out. And uh, if you don't have a fancy, you know, meth making suit like this, you should go get one. Cause they'll get all over your clothes. You don't wanna get your hot rod shirts all dirty. Right? Ready? Is that good? Yeah, actually. Okay, everybody, it's the next day, and uh, we are about to look and see the uh, the guitars that we sprayed with Simtech Sealer out of the little Harbor Freight uh, Super Cheapo Gravity Feed gun. Um, how do I think it did so far? You know, actually, I mean, it, it well, it did everything it was supposed to do. There was, you know, a container of sealer up here, and air came through here and shot it out that way, and yeah, I mean, it, it did everything it was supposed to do. Remember, a sealer doesn't exactly go on smooth as, as, as a clear coat does. You just want to get it onto the body. And um, we actually apply it numerous times. This was, uh, we put on two coats yesterday. We did one heavy coat and then uh, waited a couple hours and then did another heavy coat. Um, and we're going to sand a bunch of that back and we'll probably have some low patches that need to get another, another round and then it'll all get sanded again. So anyway, let's have a look at one of the guitars that we sprayed with the Simtech sealer and the cheapo Harbor Freight gun. Okay, so here it is. This is one of our challengers that we shot with the little Harbor Freight gun. And yeah, I mean, it, it, looks, it looks just like the other gun that we had that we sprayed sealer with. Um, so yeah, so dig this. Here's what I'm talking about. You see how, well, let me get that light out of there. You see how you can still see the grain and it is, it has a topography. Um, and what we'll do is we're going to sand a bunch of this off with 220 and, and we'll eventually level it all the way back. If we need to, we'll reapply um, another coat and then sand it back before we go on to color and top coat. But yeah, I think the Harbor Freight guns, um, for given this purpose, worked fine because, you know, you're spraying, you're spraying this stuff. Um, so... Yeah, there's really no need to spend a lot of money on a gun to shoot the sealer out of. Um, the Harbor Freight ones work just fine. Um, it used to be there was a time when I thought that a spray gun was a spray gun. <laughs> I don't think so. But when it comes to shooting sealer, I would say go with the cheapest gun you can get that sealer comes out of. So, guys, if you have any questions about uh, any of the, the, the stuff that we did in this video or any of the products that we use. There's going to be links in the description to Simtech Sealer and to the Harbor Freight gun that we use. Um, if you like the video, give us the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member because even a buck a month helps us bring you cool stuff like this. If you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Um, please like the video and share everywhere you possibly can and make sure to check out our industry partners also listed in the description below and show those guys some love. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching everybody. Yeah.